What's up guys, William here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Necrolord Red Paladin. Um, I'm going to be trying out... Oh no, Spider. Spider fail. I'm going to be trying out um, how Seraphim and Final Reckoning feel with the Necrolord Covenant. So at the moment, uh, oh, I'm going to pop all our CDs. Run in here, go ahead and Seraphim. Oh, kill that guy before I could even do anything. I get out of this. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? <laughs> I didn't even get the final reckoning. I'm so I'm so used to not running it. Oh, of course when we final reckoning it's into an AMZ. Go ahead and shoot myself. Run out. Attack the heal a little bit. Hit him with the stun. We have a Vanquisher's hammer coming up right here. Thank hammer. He's dead before I even do anything. And we're gonna run at the hunter. One thing I did forget to do, I guess. I know I, I didn't forget. I didn't forget to do it. It got reset. I'm pretty sure I used my um my fleshcraft. We'll have to go back into the beginning of the video and check it out or not. Uh, we're getting sniped from inside here. Go ahead and heal myself. Rocket wings on this hunter. You going, buddy? Ah, uh, he traps us before he goes down. Uh, we do have a van camera coming up. I didn't really get a good test because that was such a chaotic fight. Uh, but I am going to pop seraphim. Back this warrior right here. Get a bubble out of this. They're both gonna go down before I get the divine storm off from the Templar's verdict from the Banker's hammer. Okay, so I think we did big damage, but it didn't all come from divine storm like I hoped it would. Yeah, we did very big damage in here. I rolled that up. Look, oh maybe it was. We did uh we had 14 hits of divine storm with of course zero casts because it it all procs off of our uh, extra our extra thing or it's called Banker's hammer. And duty bound gavel. That is why we get two procs of Templar's verdict. Or two procs of divine storm off Templar's verdict. Guys, I'm screwing up my words. Uh, this is probably my second or third day playing this covenant. I don't even remember when I swapped, so I'm still just getting a feel for the build. Um, I did play it a lot on the PTR, but that was a long time ago. The 9.1 PTR. So here we're we're setting up for a full uh, big go right here. I'm gonna go ahead and seraphim into a right here. Not even worth final reckoning. I guess we can wings final wreck on this guy. Wings final wreck. Oh my goodness, that was a 19k non crit. That's not even uh, taking into account the fact that we had a a divine storm follow up. But I did have berserker buff to be fair, so it is a, a lot of big damn from berserker, 30% extra that is. We are five capping this battleground. That's insane. I'm gonna run up to the hill. Do I have a glider off cooldown? I do. I have a bunch of gliders from doing the Corthia farm. Oh, I'm gonna jump right down here. Whee! Well, this guy, or stun him. Sheriff him. Judge into a double Vanquisher's Hammer. One, two, might as well. Big damn. Get our procs rolling. I'm gonna attack the Death Knight right here. Freedom up. I have Unbound Freedom. Get the Ray of Frost. I'll shoot myself, why not? Okay, we're just gonna get grabbed by this DK over and over. Uh, unfortunately for us, he is using some big CDs. I don't think... Oh, or silence. I'm gonna trick that silence. Oh my goodness. I was just a little too slow. You know what I did wrong right there? So, I'm used to having an off GCD file of Serenity from, um, from being Kyrian. So during the silence, there was a half second where I was like, okay, during the silence, I'm not going to trinket it. I'm just going to press my file. Realized I no longer have files. I have Fleshcraft. And I trinketed it, and by that time, I was too late to save myself. Oops. We're doing not healing. We're top healing on our team. Funny, a, a Warlock is also out healing our other healer. I'm going to head... Like there's some fighting over here. I have all my CDs available. This guy is a is he a bear tree? I don't even know. He's gonna go down. I'm gonna go over here. Rings. On a wreck. That's the thing. I can't even set up the burst combo because they're all dead before I get one Templars with a uh, Divine Storm attached to it, which is kind of funny. 
You do have to do the, the uh, damage burst order in, in a little bit different than you would with Kyrian because you have to set up Holy Power and uh, use the Wake into the Templars instead of a Templar's Wake Templars. Because you're trying to proc as many of the 25% uh, increased damage Divine Storms as you can during your burst. So, we're even going over here. I'm going to follow these guys. Take a little coffee break. I had to get I had to get a latte today. Duncan's giving away free lattes. Alright. Got a, a few flavor of the month classes over here. Go ahead and heal up. Back off a little bit. Free shield this. Keep running away. Might as well flesh craft a little bit. Okay, we don't have bubble. That's a little sketchy. Go ahead and lay on hands. Can we, get, can we get one? Boom! Ah, we got one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm running eye for an eye. I saw a bunch of physical damage dealers this game, and I was like, ah, oh, I should run eye for an eye, but I definitely regret not running Unbreakable Spirit because I feel like Bubble is such a long cooldown without it. Which is true, it is. It's a five minute CD. Alright, so we just got Cory. Kind of hoping that that big, massive PvPers right there goes mid. Oh. Sticking around trying? Let's stick. Oh, they're sticking around there. Alright, I bubble back. I'm gonna glide down into that group. They were doing a big group. Again, Bankshire's Hammer. I honestly have not got many solid ones off right here. I'm gonna double bank hammer. One. I'm gonna bubble this just because I really want to get a good example of the cleave. Thumb this guy up. He bubbles and this guy AMSs. Three. Two, one, boom! Okay, that there was the example right there. That was the example I'm looking for. Um, fortunately, it, it didn't quite cleave onto the other guy, but we we got it. We got it. I could be playing a lot more safe, doing a lot more healing, but let's see here. Divine Storm. Our max Divine Storm is 25k. So add on that Divine Storm to whatever a, a max Templar's Verdict plus a Final Reckoning plus whatever else we're hitting with our uh, our Virtuous Command and Templar's Vindications. Again, these are these are a little less because we're not running the, um, the Final Verdict. But, eh, it feels fine. Uh, the damage is good. It feels a little clunky. Not being able to uh, use a ranged Templar's Verdict after so long of just pure ranged Templars. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to build up my charges. Okay, we've got double charges right here. Go for the max cleave. Boom! This guy AMSs again! We're getting so unlucky! I'm going to bot myself, take out this guy who's not an AMS. <laughs> oh man, this guy really doesn't want, want good video examples of uh, the uses of... Of this covenant. Get the fleshcraft. Definitely not used to pushing fleshcraft, huh? We're gonna stun this guy. Check it out. The turtles. Push this guy off. Ooh, Ashen Hollow. Alright. We have one charge going on this paladin. Two charges. We can go down in a second. Yeah, that guy wasn't doing too much with his uh with his Ashen Hall. That's something that I will check out as well eventually. Like eventually we'll grind out every covenant. Um, I think after after Necrolord, I'll probably take a look at Night Fate. Night Fate does interest me. Like having the extra mobility as a ret feels really feel really nice. That's probably a nine point two thing because I don't want to re grind two more legendaries. And if you're not aware. The, uh, the legendaries in the next patch are actually going to be uh gonna crush this guy right here. Dang it! He's gonna die before my, my combo gets off on him. Hmm. This is a good problem to have, but at the same time. <laughs> just trying to look for the examples, guys. Alright. There it is, 15-3, 1.4 mil damage. Uh we got second top healing overall, top healing on the team. And Holy Death Knight actually out healed me, so a Holy DK, Rhett, then a Holy Priest. 
then a prop paladin, then a lock, then a resto druid. So the, the druids, or not the druids, the healers in this game were definitely probably undergeared or not in combat a lot. But uh, guys, if you are enjoying Necrolord, feel free to uh, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe for more. Uh, catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.